shop. Listen carefully. Do you hear it? Neither do I. So it's a nice quiet day to make a video. And if you ignore the dead excavator hanging behind me, I'm going to do a video today on the gantry crane that I built uh, last year. I've had a few requests for it, so I figure it's time to uh, do a little once over on it. So being as I spend a lot of time here myself, uh, I need a way to move around heavier objects, uh, lift them on the table, whatever. And uh, so I decided to build myself a gantry crane. And, uh, and uh, between my own ideas and uh, what Keith Henry shared with me regarding his, uh, I came up with this unit. Uh, I'm going to take you through some of the details of it and, uh, and, uh, and what? For construction we went with 3 inch schedule 40 pipe and uh, we did all our bending in the shot uh, using a uh, fairly cheap hydraulic bender actually. Uh, on the base we have uh, four scaffolding casters, they're rated at about 750 pounds each and a uh, 3 inch square tube uh, as a brace in the legs. Up in the top corners we used a 3 quarter inch plate in which we bored to fit our pipe and uh, so that when we weld everything it holds everything straight and parallel. Uh, pivot pins are inch and a half, 1045 material and the beam itself is a 6 inch parallel flange beam. The overall width on it is uh, about 8.5 feet. The beam itself was 8 plus we added on about uh, 3 inches per side for the pivots which makes it wide enough to span a pickup truck and pick something heavy up out of the bed or load something as well. Underneath the beam our dimension is uh, 9 foot 4 so we got plenty of height to, uh, to load pretty much anything. We also have a standard uh, 1 ton uh, chain fall on a trolley so we can uh, go across our uh, gantry with it and move some stuff around if needs be. I've also outfitted this one with a, uh, an electric winch. Uh, it runs about 4,200 pounds and uh, even with the bend in the cable we can still safely pick up 1,500 or 2,000 with it. So the electric winch runs a couple of ways. Uh, one is a hard wire remote that we can use and uh, the other is a wireless remote that, uh, so we can take it with us if we don't want to be anywhere near what we're trying to lift. Pretty good. I'll take you up to the electric and show you that part. So up here on top we have a standard uh, 12 volt uh, vehicle winch. We run it from a small battery uh, through a solenoid pack over here normally used on ATV winches. Uh, I did find that I had to keep my high current wires, let's get them in the frame, my high, high current wires separate from my uh, from my switching wire, sometimes you get a small amount of interference and uh, the winch gets intermittent. Uh, by separating the wires it's not too bad and is very controllable. So the whole winch is mounted on machined out channels both sides that allow it to slide back and forth on the upper section of the beam. Can't really do it right now because I have an excavator arm hanging from it but uh, it is able to move uh, full width of the beam to wherever you need. Over on this end we have our uh, remote uh, unit. Essentially what it is, it's a 4 channel 12 volt uh, remote system. Uh, it came from Princess Auto originally. Uh, I only use two channels, one for up and one for down, but, uh, but uh, it's all hardwired in here to the winch solenoid and we take our remote and we can go mobile with it. We have a master power switch and light and uh, this is also where we hardwired in our uh, manual switch in case our battery got lost on our, or <laughs> in case our transmitter got lost, which has happened. Uh, hanging at the bottom, we have a uh, port for recharging the battery when needed. Uh, for the most part, it lasts quite some time, uh, but to just plug it in, keep it charged up, uh, you know, a couple times a month, I guess. having the leg 
swivel uh, 10 degrees each direction. It allows us to get around the welding table and, in, and uh, around whatever objects are on the floor and uh, makes it very uh, mobile and versatile around the shop. Works great for lifting this stuff, I tell you. allows us to uh, move around the rolling bench great and uh, lift this heavy crap up onto the bench and do some work with it. <laughs>